Good night. El casamiento. Uh -huh. Bye. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Yes. 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 Nice. What about you, Carmen Rene? Well, you need it. I'm fine. A good day. A good day. Did you work? Yes. The tarde ya no, ¿cómo sería? In the afternoon? In the afternoon. Ajá. Ah, so you were off in the afternoon. Yeah. Nice. You enjoyed. Did you do something <laughs> special? I know that the traffic today was crazy. At the uh, afternoon. Yes, teacher. Did you get into uh, traffic? I'm coming to my house uh, early. Early. Oh, that's nice because the traffic in the afternoon was crazy. Yes, teacher. Terrific. Okay. It was terrible. <laughs> ah, terrible. <laughs> yeah, because terrific is like fantastic. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, para nada. <laughs> okay, so in, then it was terrible. Okay. Terrible. Okay. And the rest of you, do you have plans for tomorrow? Tomorrow it's Saturday. It's, today was payday. Many people get paid today. The Sunday, yes. Sunday, what are you yes. going to do on Sunday? I go to Awachapan. Awachapan, where? Uh, what, what are you going to do there? Do uh, you have families there, relatives? My mom. Your mom? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Go to visit. Are you going to cook something special for her or she's going to cook for you? Um, I think uh, uh, buy the. You're going to order takeout? Yes, teacher. Takeout <laughs> or a delivery? Um, delivery more. Mm, it's more convenient, yes. <laughs> so you yes, just wait, teacher. call, and wait for the food. <laughs> yes. Okay, nice. It sounds like a good plan. And the rest of you, do you have plans for this, this um, uh, weekend? No plans for the weekend? Okay, so we're going to start. I sent you the presentation. I added some extra things for us to practice and think, maybe recall vocabulary, try to, to solve these riddles. You know what are riddles? Read them and tell me, what do you think they are? Riddles. Oh, can you look, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, teacher. It's like teacher. a living answer. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> I think, yes. <laughs> I am oh, mm -hmm. Ole. But I can't can work while I, why, I, why had you went to wait train? Why got you just people never uh, before we have? Well, the why in fact she bought not in like one couch who still put it from okay so yes they are like a adivinanza o acertijo voy a silenciar se escucha bastante ruido gracias Okay, so they are riddles and uh, they are, as you said, adivinanzas or acertijos, yes. 
So you see, uh, they are four, I think, or one, two, five. Yes, we have five riddles and uh, we have to think in the answer, what are they? So the first one, it says, I'm full of holes. Uh, I can hold water. What it is without accent. No sé por qué me salió con acento. Trate de corregirlo, but uh, siempre salí así. What am I? And then we have what gets wet when drying. Hmm. What are two things people never eat before breakfast? What has two hands, a face, but no arms and legs? And what can't be used until it's broken? So you have to think in the answer. And I'm going to ask you to get in groups so that you can think in the answers. Are we okay with the instructions? Good evening, teacher. Sorry, uh, teacher, I have a problem. So I'm, um, I'm, 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 I'm connected, but until the 9 I'm going to start to interact because I have a problem here. I just came here a little bit. Entonces voy a estar aquí conectada, y, pero a las nueve voy a empezar ya a interactuar acá con el grupo. Ok, perfecto. Thank no you problem. so much, Belén. Uh, so remember, if Belén gets in one of your group, she's not going to be participating on, on, until nine, I guess. So we hope that she solves whatever uh, she is going through. So yes, I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Remember to try to think. No cheating, just try to think. No vayan a hacer trampa, solo traten de pensar en qué puede ser ese objeto. What could be the answer for these riddles? So let's get into the breakout rooms and you can think in groups. Remember, try to uh, give the answers or think in the answers and, and speak in English, please. So you can practice. Let's have fun.
Dios, eso es cierto. Well, I'm full of hope. No. I can hold water. Hello, teacher. We can share the screen. Yes, you can right now. I already, ah, okay. uh, yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Si puedo sostener agua. Ni miren, ni miren. I can hold water. Oh. What gets what gets wet when dry? What gets wet when drying? Que está mojado cuando está seco o cuando se está secando. Uh -huh. La esponja es el primero. Oh. Esponja. That in English? Correct. Eh, sponge. sponge. Correct. Acá. Can get wet when it's drying. What gets wet when gets drying? Um. Eh, La toalla. Porque se seca, ¿cómo es? Se, se moja cuando está secando. Uh, close, it can be. Oh, no. No. To towels. Okay. To towel. Uh -huh. Towel. ¿Cómo se escribe? Con doble B. <ríe> mm, sí. ¿Cómo? Si me lo pueden deletrear, por favor. T O W L L, I think. Yo... L L L L. Yes, yes, another L. Sí. No, no, only, no, no. It, it, only it, one only. E. Uh -huh. e. Okay. Uh, yes, Yo only one. L L. L. No, sí. Uno. I think. Una. Yes, one. One. Okay. What are what are two things people never eat before breakfast? What are two things people never eat before breakfast? Dos cosas. Never eat. Era el almuerzo y la cena. Yes, can be lunch. And never no. eat before. Ajá, porque dicen, no, no, ¿qué cosas no come? Eh, food and water, agua y comida. Porque si lo come, ya estaría desayunando. <laughs> No, before es antes. Antes del desayuno. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Que dice que dos sí. cosas no comen antes del desayuno. Entonces, no. Mm. Uh, I think then we can be in we can be right uh, dinner dinner and lunch. Before breakfast, and the, yes, this kind of makes some sense. I don't know, but uh, it, it says things, and I don't know if lunch is at, at things. Things, oh. <laughs> Okay. 
with things. Um. We can continue with number mm. four and yes, <laughs> come back later to number three. <laughs> what has two hands and a face, but no arms and legs? And legs. The gloves. What? The gloves. Sí, no. El reloj, ¿cómo que se dice? Clock. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Clock. Yes, I have two hands and face. Two hands and face. Eh, Las dos manecillas. Está más grande que que. <laughs> Ay, teacher. Nos no. falta una. Okay. Que no le hemos encontrado la respuesta. Uh, no. <risa> que tiene dos, no, que tiene dos manos, una cara. A mí lo que se me ocurre que tiene cara es solo la moneda y el reloj. Oh, uh -huh. ajá. Ah, sí, sí, yo. <risa> Ahí pero está. no tiene, pero no tiene manos. Bra ah, uh -huh. ah, manos, ajá, manos dice. Manos dice. dice what, what does it have arms? Hands. Well, no, dice arms. Dice hands. Mm. But if you think in Spanish it's like manecillas, manitas, las manitas del reloj, no decimos brazos. Ah. Ay, Ay ya le dije. Oh, <laughs> Ya sabemos cuál es. <risa> es cierto. Manecillas del reloj. Ajá, manecillas. <risa> y ahí sería watch o sería clock. Uh, it would be, puede sí, ser puede cualquiera. Uh, so you can say clock es el que va en la pared o watch el que va en la, el que uno Mano. usa pues, pero ambos es igual pues. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can, if you write clock or watch, both answers are correct. Okay. <laughs> we are reading. Ya están los cinco. Okay, I think that most of the group has finished, so I'm going to close the rooms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Entonces, ¿qué es de watch? Hey, pero ese sí del, del reloj, sí nos costó. <risa> pero Mercy ya lo Ella sabía. No Porque dijiste, el reloj dijiste. Es que lo que pasa de que, como estaba viendo acá, espérame. Pero no ah, Google. Ay, <risa> sabe, <risa> para Mercy, la Como verdad. le dicen las manecillas del reloj. El reloj. Mira, oh, así como oh, dice nice. Francisco. Como dice Francisco, Dios nos está viendo, Mercy. Ahí vamos a dar cuenta. Ay, no. Va, pues nos vemos en la otra. Ok, bye. Sin hacer No, hombre, te digo, este, ¿a qué hora vendría más o menos mañana? Mañana sábado, porque mañana irían a comprar, ¿sí? Ok, uh, so let's a eso es see. Oh my God, I'm not able to share this screen. Okay, I'm sharing now, I guess. All right, so a volunteer for the first one. I'm full of home, I can hold water. What am I? Volunteer? La Lupe tiene reunión, yo tengo reunión. 
Virar el ministerio, Lupe, ahí es un Thought it was the sponge. Yes, that is correct. The sponge. Thank you so much. So the answer for this one was the sponge. And number, well, the second one, what gets wet when drying? What who has the answer for this one? What gets wet I when drying? Paper uh, towel. Yes, it is a towel. Thank you so much. It's a towel. Uh, let's see the third one. What are two things people never eat before breakfast? Lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner, of course. That is the answer. Lunch and dinner. And what has two hands? Thank you. Okay, so what has two hands and a face but no arms and legs? The clock. Uh -huh, the clock. If you have clock or watch, it is the same. Now, the last one. Uh, let's see. What can't be used until it's broken? The egg. An egg. Yes, an egg. An egg. <laughs> Good. Now, let's see. To continue here, now that we have uh, been thinking and the answers, espero que hayan estado pensando y no googleando, ¿verdad? <laughs> so, vamos a dejar de anotar o distraer o manchar, por favor, no es necesario, gracias. So, we go with the tongue twisters. Now, we have this one, I think it's like four. Yes, we have four tongue twisters and we're going to practice them first here in the main section. So just listen up and you can practice, of course, with microphones in mute so that we can avoid all the background noise. We're going to do it in mute. And after we practice a couple of times here in the main section, I'm going to recreate the section groups in smaller so that you can practice with your classmates. The first one, rain on the grass. Rain on the green grass. Rain on the grass. En mute, por favor, gracias. Ahí pueden practicar en la casa, pero sí, hay mucho ruido de fondo. Se escucha mucho ruido. So let's practice. Rain. Oh, yo, teacher. Ay, sí, como las casas son chiquitas, ¿verdad? A veces es el vecino, pero lastimosamente sí nos afecta. <laughs> Gracias. Ok, let's continue. Rain on the grass. Oh, perdón, ese es el tema del, 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 <laughs> del tongue twister. So, ya ven que el ruido sí lo distrae a uno. Let's repeat. Rain on the green grass. Rain on the tree. Rain on the rooftop, but not on me. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the rooftop, but not on me. And then you have to continue practicing and try to say it as fast as you can. Let's repeat the last one. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the rooftop, but not on me. Let's see the next one. Okay. If two witches would watch two watches, which witch would watch which watch? If two witches would watch two watches, which witch would watch which watch again if two witches would watch two watches which witch would watch which watch let's move then we have this one i saw a kitten eating chicken in the kitchen i saw a kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. Tienen que decirlo rápido. Okay. I saw a kitten eating 
chicken in the kitchen. And the last one is imagine an imaginary manager managing an imaginary manager. Imagine an imaginary manager managing an imaginary manager. Imagine an imaginary manager managing an imaginary manager. So those are the four tongue twisters that we're going to practice in groups. Remember that you must take turns to practice. Mayaner, Mayaner, all of them. And let me create the breakout rooms again. And let's see. Vamos a crear las claves. Six rooms. And there we go.
Okay, see everybody's back again. So let's see if we have volunteers for the first one, you can raise your hand. Oh, I have four. Okay, let's go with you four. Keep your hands there. And Maria Angelica. Maria, Maria Angelica. Yes, sorry. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the rooftop, but not on me. Very good, super good. Francisco Nemias. Rain on the grass, rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the rooftop, but not on me. But not on me. Very good, Francisco. Thank you so much, Noemi. Ray on the green grass, ray on the tree, ray on the rooftop, but not on me. Oh, super good. Judy Araceli. Okay, ray on the green grass, ray on the tree, ray on the rooftop, but not on me. But Excellent. Not on me. Sorry. But not on me. Very good. Good job, Moises. Right on the green grass, right on the tree, right on the rooftop. I am a good. But, but not on me. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's see. I have something in the chat. Uh, no, I'm going to check attendance when we finish this activity. So let's continue. Then, uh, volunteer for this one. Raise your hand. Use two which checks wall watch two watch checks which which watch watch which watch. What? Very good job, Juan Ricardo. Very good job. Muy bien con la pronunciación. Vamos a seguirlo practicando para decirlo rapidito. Thank you so much, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. It's two witches would watch, two watches, which which would watch, which watch. Excellent, very good. <laughs> Thank you. Rudy? Two witches would watch, two watch, would which would watch, which watch. <laughs> very good. What's that, Rudy? Two watch, which watch, which 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 two. You watch, which which watch, which watch. Okay, Rudy. If the witch will which will watch the watches with which which will watch which watch. Okay, very good job. Thank you so much. Let's move to the third one. Volunteers. As I a kitten, a yai chicken, and die chicken. Kit no perdón. Kitten. I saw I saw a kitten. Eating chicken in the kitchen. Eating chicken in the kitchen. Kitchen. Okay. Kitchen. Thank you so much. Let's listen to Jose Rudy, luego Delmi, luego Juan Ricardo, and then Moises Rivera. Okay, Rudy. I saw Kiren eating chicken in the kitchen. Pretty good. Thank you so much. Delmi. I saw Kiren eating chicken in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Thank you, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. I saw a kid and eating chicken in the kitchen. Excellent. <laughs> How fast. Excellent job. My <laughs> ten. Chicken in the kitchen. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Helen. Uh, veo la manita ahí levantada, pero no la escucho, Helen. I in the kitchen. Thank you so much. Very good job, Marisela del Carmen. I saw the kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. Okay, thank you so much for your participation. And finally, raise your hands if you dare with me. And imaginary 
Mayanari, Manayikin, en Imanari, Menina, Menayikeri. Good try, good try. Thank you, Helen. Yeah. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Imagine an imaginary manager, managing an imaginary manager. Wow, <laughs> super fast, excellent. Maricela del Carmen. Managing in my imaginary manager, managing in my imaginary manager. Okay, kind of confusing. Good job. Thank you so much for your participation. So let me stop sharing and uh, we're going to check attendance right now. So if you don't mind, you can turn on your cameras and say present as soon as you hear your names. Excelente, se me trabó la computadora. Give me one second. Mayaner, Mayaner, Mayaner. Ok, dime un segundo, estoy teniendo problemitas, no sé por qué no me quiere abrir el file de la attendance ni nada, quiero ver este, tampoco lo abre, solo se ha quedado ahí trabado. It's a time. Me está pidiendo un reinicio, pero no lo puedo hacer. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. ah, se ha parado el recording también. Ah. Ok. Seems it's fixed. Fifty four. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. Do I your teacher? Sí, solo se había parado el recording. Eh, creo que en tanto está. <laughs> Pero no. preocupada. <laughs> Ay, lo soluciono luego. Mm. Viernes 13. Andrea Laurena. Era por eso. <ríe> Probable. Andrea Laurena. No está Andrea. Belén Batres. Present teacher. Thank you, Belén. Carlos Mario Avedaño. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen René Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Nehemías Godínez. Present. Thank you so much. Helen Dionelli. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Helen. Iris Joana. Present. Thank you, Iris. Jose Arnoldo Correa. Present. Thank you so much. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present, teacher. 
Thank you so much. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Kenia Cecilia. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Kenia. Uh, Maricela del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Moises Alberto. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Moises. Noemi Albertina. Present teacher. Right. Thank you, Rafael Antonio. Rafael Antonio. Reina Margarita. Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you, Reina. Rubén de Jesús. Present teacher. Thank you, Rubén. Uh, let's see, Judy Araceli. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Jose Rudy Acevedo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Let's see, Ana Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Maria Angelica. Present. Thank you, Maria. Eh, Imelda Elizabeth. Okay, thank you. Susana Esmeralda. It's not here. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, we will continue. I have something here in the chat. Just let Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, when we finish the course in this level? On June 1st. June 1st. Ya me mandaron para actualizar lo demás. Pero no me acuerdo cuando terminé. Sí, como ya estamos casi que a la mitad, esta es la onceava clase, creo, y son 25. Para su nivel son 25. Uh -huh. Entonces ya estamos casi llegando a la mitad y siempre les piden que actualicen datos, que llenen una encuesta y que vuelvan a mandar los papeles. Casi siempre, ya cuando se va acercando a la mitad del módulo, Pero sí les faltan 14 clases después de esta. Eh, también por, para lo de la encuesta, no me salía su nombre. Uh, voy a consultar entonces. Ajá, ya no le hice la, la evaluación por, por qué no salía su nombre. Yo del teacher Francisco sale. Um... No, no. Voy a preguntar si será por, por cuestiones, porque sí, el teacher Francisco era quien, quien estaba eh, para darles la clase a ustedes, pero pues parece que le surgió algo y ya no pudo continuar con el grupo, entonces no sé, pero a lo mejor es porque él está inscrito y tienen que, bueno, pero sí estaría feo que evalúen con él, como si es a él y no es a él, sino que a mí. Y si me quieren poner cero, entonces le aparecería Francisco. <risa> entonces, en ese lado, para los que me quieran poner cero. No. <risa> 20, 20 sí, no, no sé. Entonces sí deberían, pero no sé si es porque él quedó inscrito. Pero voy a hablar con el administrador para que él les indique si se va a hacer así. O, o si van a cambiar el nombre, no sé. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, no sé si, si me tomó asistencia porque... Se me sí, Rafael, poquito. ahorita vi okay. el mensaje y ya lo anoté. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Ok. So, um, sí, por eso sería. Y con lo del nombre yo les voy a... Pre, este, les voy a este averiguar con qué nombre llenaría la encuesta si siempre sería con el teacher Francisco o si van a, a 
a mandar algún, algún, porque eso no sé si lo hace le, la academia o si lo hacen del de lado de Insafor, el, el, lo de la encuesta. Entonces, este, yo les estaría comunicando el lunes a ver si me responden mañana. Yo les diría el lunes cómo, cómo van a hacer con la encuesta. Hi teacher, I have a question. Yes, teacher. Yes, I know. My question is, um, you, uh, the enterprise, give give it to us, uh, cert certify for each level. My hey. question is because uh, in the past I already um have a course of Excel. I think it's not with the same enterprise uh, the, esta que usted está, pero no me dieron nada nunca. Entonces al final fue como, ajá. Hey, yes, uh, the provider is English Corporativo. Uh, this is the provider of the facilitator services. And yes, you're gonna get a certificate uh, when you finish each module. So what I don't know if, the, if they're going to send it to your um, human resources department, I guess that they do so. Creo que en este módulo que ustedes están, se los envían a recursos humanos, ¿verdad? Sus certificados. Pues es lo que no sé, teacher, realmente no sé. Eso, eso no te dieron, pero... Ah. El, Yo leí el... en, la, en la información que mandaron al correo que el certificado lo iban a dar por nivel, no por módulo, pero no estoy segura si es así. O sea, que hasta que termináramos el nivel intermedio iban a dar certificado. Pero a mí me pasó en el nivel básico que dijeron que cuando lo aprobábamos que nos iban a mandar y yo estaba preguntando recursos humanos y nada. Lo que dijeron en la inducción que dieron, en la que yo estuve, cuando entré a este curso, que se podía tardar hasta tres meses después que termines, terminaba el nivel, porque lo da Insafor. Sí, correcto. Eso uh -huh. me dijeron. A mí también me dijeron lo mismo y de los otros certificados de recursos humanos lo da, pero fotocopiados. Eh, sí, eso les iba a comentar que en el caso de inglés corporativo usualmente se puede tardar hasta tres meses porque eh, como son terceras partes, ¿verdad? Insafor es el que provee la beca, pero los maestros o facilitadores son de inglés corporativo. Entonces, eh, los certificados, eh, uh, usualmente, pues ellos los imprimen, los, los sacan, los sellan, los firman, después los mandan a Insafor, Insafor tiene que regresarlos y así. Entonces, es un proceso que toma bastante tiempo, porque acuérdense que hay un montón de academias con un montón de cursos de Insafor y por eso es que se tardan. Hay algunos que son este, como virtuales, digámoslo así, porque sí, yo estuve en uno de Excel de Insafor y ellos lo mandaban virtual a la, a la compañía con la que trabajo en el día y ellos ya lo daban impreso, pero fue bien rápido porque no es ni siquiera que va como original, sino que son algo feito el certificado, pero así es más rápido, ¿verdad? Sí, es una foto la que envíe. Ajá, es una foto y ahí uno si la quiere imprimir en, en el papel que uno quiera o, o la empresa si se lo quiere imprimir en un cartoncito bonito de certificado. Uh -huh. Pero hasta donde yo sé si eh, con inglés corporativo es cada módulo que usted termina no, o cada nivel, va cada, bueno, estos son módulos, cada mes, digamos, mes y estos que son de intermedio que son cinco semanas, cada cinco semanas que usted finaliza es un certificado. Pero sí se tarda. Ok, Ticha, gracias. Les voy a averiguar bien, eh, pero sí, yo sé que es cada módulo y que se tarda un poquito, pero sí. Eh, algo, les voy a averiguar esto y también con el nombre para la encuesta. ¿Algo más que quieran que pregunte? ¿Estarán? Only that teacher. Ok. La graduación, no hay graduación, but teacher. No, unfortunately no. Algunas veces hay con los presenciales, pero cuando ya terminan todo, cuando llegan al, al, al avanzado y terminan, a veces sí se les hace eh, pues algún, algo en la academia. 
pero así virtuales no. Okay. So to continue here, um, yesterday we were practicing with um, giving suggestions using uh, it would be better or if it is in question form, wouldn't it be better or would you prefer or wouldn't it be better to, it would be good if, esto es lo que estuvimos viendo ayer como la parte gramatical, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, vamos a practicar dar sugerencias de una manera muy eh, cordial, cortés, usando would be better to y o en, eh, creo que sería it would be good if y it would be better to. So vamos a usar estos dos para dar sugerencias. It would be better to y it would be good if. No vamos a usar las preguntas. Pero antes de eso vamos a practicar pronunciación. So les eh, puse esta conversación en la presentación. Eh, pero primero vamos a escuchar el audio. Luego van a practicar en grupos y luego van a hacer role play de esta conversación. Luego vamos al siguiente paso, que es donde vamos a, a dar sugerencias usando it would be better to o it would be good if. Ok, pero vamos a ir por partes. Ay, disculpe, teacher, porque es que lo guardo. Y por eso me les ha rayado porque a veces me pasa el renglón. Ok, so let's practice. Uh, vamos a siempre con los eh, micrófonos en mute, pero ustedes pueden repetir en casa. Voy a pausar para que ustedes este, puedan repetir. Primero acuérdense, listen and then repeat. Porque si repetimos al mismo tiempo que vamos escuchando, entonces no podemos como captar bien eh, la, como la pronunciación de las palabras. Entonces hay que primero escuchar y luego imitar como escuchamos. Eh, sí, lo vamos a hacer el ejercicio dos veces. Dígame. No sería, no sería en tú, en tú, para que salga mejor. Como tú, en tú. En dos, en dos. No, porque a veces, por eso, aunque la conversación sea de dos, en este caso creo que son más de dos personas, pero por eso los breakout rooms los pongo de más, porque de repente alguien no se conecta, porque está todavía en el trabajo, porque va manejando, entonces quedaría una persona sola en el grupo. O de repente uno tiene problemas de internet, se le cae la conexión, entonces por eso los grupos eh, los hago de más de dos personas. Eh, any other question? Okay. okay, so we're going to listen and practice this conversation. Let me check microphones off. Yes, so sharing audio. Yes, okay. Unit six. Okay, no problem. Page 36, exercise two, conversation. Turn down the TV. Part A. Listen and practice. Jason. Jason. Turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor.
In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? <laughs> Definitely. Unit 6. Okay, no problem. Page 36, Exercise 2, Conversation. Turn down the TV. Part A. Listen and practice. Jason. Jason. Turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? <laughs> Definitely. Do you have any questions about uh, pronunciation of vocabulary? Just... Uh, yes, one. Yes, question. Question. yes, the first one is and uh, Jason. Okay, I'll turn it down. I'll is a contraction for I will, yes? Yes, that is correct. Okay. And the second thing is not a question, it's just an observation. You're laughing, teacher. <laughs> this is a very <laughs> interesting situation. <laughs> oh, because I'm laughing. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, it's like uh, it's uh, old memories got unlocked. <laughs> yes, okay, okay. and I'm familiar, familiar with that situation too. <laughs> exactly, it's familiar. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Any other questions or comments? No questions? Jackson, Jackson, turn down. Die TV, please. Hold the bats. This is mm -hmm. my Hello, favorite. Vamos a Juan. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing and I will create the breakout room so that you can practice in groups. Let's see, you're in groups of three and four. Let's see, I'm going to make one. The observation teacher. We will do it in the groups or or with you. Uh, you're gonna do it in groups. So first oh. you practice the conversation in groups. You're going to take turns and then you're going to role play in the main sections. But I'm going to give you um, five minutes so that you can practice in group. Just practice, okay. Mm -hmm. Just practice okay. the conversation.
Menemo. Yes. What's up, Menemo? What's up? ¿Cómo andas, Menemo? ¿Qué onda? ¿Cómo estamos? Vos sos el mero Nemo, va. Buscando a Nemo. <laughs> Así es. Okay, so we have volunteers oh, to relate the conversation. We need the, the see you Me. Me. Can I? Ricardo Alvarenga and Belen. You can start, Ricardo. Okay. Jason. Jason, turn down the TV, please. How about, this, how about uh, this is my favorite program? What the? Okay, let's start again, uh, please. Alvarenga y Belen. Yes. Okay. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They are all over the floor. In a minute, ma'am. I'm on the phone. <laughs> all right, but this is fun as you hang out. Okay, no problem. <laughs> were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. definitely. We live in the moment, teacher. <laughs> awesome, yeah. <laughs> you get into the character and you role yeah. play and you get the I proper... I feel it, I feel it. <laughs> Uh, oh no, <laughs> you did Buena an gala. excellent job. Nothing to Buena say. Level. Great pronunciation, great intonation. Excellent job. Thank you Thank so much. You. All right, we have in the waiting room to Imelda and someone to practice with Imelda. Raise your hand, Maria Angelica. Thank you so much. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but it's my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I will turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They are all over the floor. In a minute, ma'am, I am on the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. We were like this when we are kids? Definitely. Excellent. Very good job with pronunciation. You also use proper intonation. I see you're improving a lot with pronunciation. Excellent job. Great. Thank you so much for participating. You were awesome. Uh, so let's see, uh, do we have another two volunteers or three? Okay, I think that will be it. Okay, we have Juan Ricardo Menedemo and Carlos Mario. Jackson, Jackson, turn down, Thai TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but, but very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. Thai better, time. See you, sir. Discipline. Do you see Discipline. No, it's suyo. Esa parte is suya también. Sigue el mismo. Ah. I discipline your train. They are lower to flow. In a minute, ma'am. I read but I saw you hide hot. Okay, no problem. Where did I when to wear kids? 
Definitely. Definitely. Okay, very good job, Carlos. Thank you so much. And Juan Ricardo, you did it better. Ahí va mejorando, Juan Ricardo. Muy bien. Thank you so much. So let's repeat some of them. Like this one is a kind of tricky word porque la asociamos con el español y a veces cuesta. But remember, this is favorite. Favorite. And uh, then also pick up your things. Pick up pick, your things. Pick up your thing. Things. Excellent one. Let's pick see up another. your thing. They are other type pro. Okay. All right. All right. I'll buy some. I do hop. Hang up. Hello. Hang up. Hop. Love. Hang up. Hop up. Okay. <laughs> Keep on practicing. Good job. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. So. I see that you're improving a lot. Eh, veo que han mejorado, van mejorando muy bien. Están haciendo un excelente trabajo con la pronunciación. Los felicito de verdad. Eh, gracias por persistir, ¿verdad? Por seguir participando, por hacer las actividades. Eh, y de eso se trata. Okay, so. Now, in this, it's common complaints of families with teenagers. Veo que este no les ha gustado. <laughs> Trae viejo recuerdo. Come on. <laughs> Complaints of uh -huh. family with teenager. Ok, so vamos a seguir. Vamos a hacer recomendaciones para estos complaints. Ok, usando, como les había mencionado anteriormente, vamos a usar it would be better to, más el verbo, ¿verdad? Uh, sin y alterar bueno. ni nada. Y. y, bueno. um, y Vamos a escuchar you. las indicaciones, Juan. Vamos a hacerlo it? con wow. it would be better to. Y vamos a usar it would be good if. Cualquiera de las dos para dar recomendación en qué hacer en estos casos. Eh, van a dividir el trabajo en dos. Primero, about kids. They said, don't help around the house. Are always texting their friends never listen to us eat too much junk food leave everything until the last minute okay so recommendations to uh, avoid or to improve these kind of behaviors now about parents what can we do about parents the common complaints for teenagers is that my parents embarrass me in front of my friends. Mm -hmm. They used to do that. <laughs> Don't... Even when you're uh, not a teenager. <laughs> I yeah. think they, they use it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they do it a lot. They, they don't. They don't know how, if, uh, yeah, how, how to wait, right, to the proper moment. The concept <laughs> about the age we have. Yes, I think they are not conscious <laughs> about the age. Yes. Now another one is that they don't respect my privacy. Criticize my taste in music nag me to clean up my room, won't let me make my own decisions. So now that we have read the common complaints, do you have any questions about vocabulary? Yes, teacher. The mm -hmm. first one, uh, what is the difference between kids and children? And that is no difference. You can use either or, you can use kids or you can use children. Hablamos de que son niños, si usamos kids or children. Now, teenagers, ese sí es diferente. Teenagers es adolescentes. Oh, Pero sí. kids y children, you can use either or, and there's no difference. Okay. Se pronuncia kids o kids. 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 The second teacher is, what is the meaning of nag? Uh, regañar. Ah, okay. And the last one, uh, adultos in English? Adults. 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 
All of us. All of All of us. Como como, no es tan A, ah, it's like oh, all of us. All of us. All of All of All of Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay. Uh, just for being sure, we have to use uh, this common complaints to use it. Uh, a recommendation ah. using the the phrases that you already give it to yes. us. Uh -huh. So you have to make okay. two sections: my kids and my parents. Okay. Using for example, this, the first examples. one: Don't help around the house. What can we do with this? It would be better house. to assign task for uh, for every kid or everyone in the house and maybe uh, rotate or from time to time. Okay. Como sería bueno asignarles, verdad, eh, tareas eh, a cada miembro de la familia porque dice que no ayudan, verdad? Entonces, como it, it would be better if you have a schedule for activities in the house to so that everybody helps, okay? So for example, and to establish some rules. For example, you don't, you're not gonna eat your food if you don't wash the dishes, okay? So, or everybody has to wash its own dishes, right? Nobody wash other dishes, okay? So okay. to prove, to make uh, to I propose bring. ideas on how to improve this using it would be better to or it would be good if we have to use like that to bring. give the recommendations like the brain are white are they for the smile from John in March with the junk food, uh -huh. también hay que hacer algo with the junk food, Noemi. Thank you, teacher. It's, it's just my my question. What is the meaning of eat too much junk food? Junk food se, comiere a la, se refiere a la comida chatarra. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. okay. Comen demasiada comida chatarra. ¿Qué podemos hacer? Thank Para you. que ya no coman comida chatarra. Carlos Mario. Okay, thank you. Make more money. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, healthy food is expensive. <laughs> vegetables. But they are expensive, uh, yes. Tablets so. or salad or salad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or soup, soup, soup. Thank you, Juan. Vamos a escuchar a Carlos y después a Moisés. Carlos. We only going to read. No, van a trabajar en grupo dando recomendaciones para los papás qué hacer eh, respecto a esto de lo que ellos están quejando y también qué hacer eh, respecto a los complaints de que tienen los, los adolescentes usando lo, la estructura que vimos ayer. Mm. Uh -huh. okay. Tienen que hacer una lista de recomendaciones para cada complaint que está acá. Uh -huh. okay. eh, Moisés, se, ya no... Ver la manita por ahí. Uh -huh. uh, what is the meaning of the cri criticize? Criticize. Critican. Critican. Okay. Criticize. Okay. Mi gusto en música. Criticize my taste in, in music. Okay, so, aquí está la instrucción Teacher. también en la diapositiva. Everything. Un segundito. Everything. Eh, Everything, eh, todo. Entonces, aquí está la, la indicación también. Read and provide suggestions for kids and parents using would be better to or it would be, it would be good if. Okay, so, and you're going to uh, working groups in your presentations. Creo que tenemos suficiente tiempo, girl. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go.
Hi, Jose. In which room were you? Teacher, en room 5. Es que se, ya se me apaga el, la tablet. Por eso me crece oh. el teléfono. Okay, okay, I'm going to get you to room 5. Thank you. Ah, me imagino que nos quedamos para el tiempo. Okay, somebody ask for help. Eh, teacher, solo que eh, no sé si entendí bien o entendí mal. Eh, de lo que nos usted nos puso eh, en, en la, la pantalla son sugerencias las que tenemos que hacer, ¿verdad? Tanto para los eh, donde dice kids y donde dicen los otros donde están los my parents uh -huh. así es verdad sí okay. y tienen que usar lo que vimos ayer it would be better if o it would be good if ok uh, it would be better to puede ser eh, como por ejemplo dice que están comiendo eh, mucha comida chatarra entonces eh, wouldn't it be better if you Don't buy snacks, for example, decir, o, o usar, it would be better uh, to avoid buying snacks. Sería mejor evitar eh, comprar snacks, ¿verdad? Porque si no hay, no van a comer eso. So, recomendaciones ah. usando eh, la estructura que ya vimos al día de ayer. El día de ayer, ok. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. No sé, compañeros. Yeah, ¿Está todo clear. claro? ¿O tienen alguna otra duda? It's clear. También ahí les escribí las instrucciones. Read and provide suggestions for kids and parents using would be better or it would be better if. Y ahí están. Ah. Mm. Okay, yeah, it's clear. Okay, comencemos. ¿Quién va a agarrar las dos primeras de my kid? Hola. Hello. Hola, hola, más. Te escucho. Yes. Eh, ¿Tú vas a agarrar el dato primero? Hola. Eh, sí, si vas a agarrar las, las dos primeras. Ok. Entonces yo la seguía. De my kid. Lo que otros. Los, los otros dos compañeros serían de my Ajá. Ok. Con Ajá, Juan Ricardo y José Arnoldo. Entonces yo agarro las últimas tres de my parents. Ok, gracias José Arnoldo. Ah, pues Juan Ricardo agarra las primeras de my parents. Bueno, o sea, vamos a hacer recomendaciones acerca de lo que dice ahí. Yes. ¿Cómo puede mejorar o no hacer lo que dice ahí?
Yo creo que sí, yo ahí mandé los primeros dos de los que No sé qué onda. La, las dos primeras de My Parents. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Entonces lo copiamos en un blog de notas, quizá. No sé si alguien está de la computadora para que la haga. No, de celular está. Moisés, ¿va a ser tres o va a ser los, eh, los últimos dos? Hola. Hola. No, Moisés. Ah, Okay, uh, before we continue, let's see. Voy a chequear por cuestión de tiempo solo las personas que no me aparecieron la primera vez. Sé que el grupo se ha mantenido y los que estaban la primera vez siguen acá, pero no sé si se nos unió Andrea Laurena. 
Andrea Naurena, bueno, quizás no se unió y tampoco mandó mensaje. Si alguien más que no tenga. Uh, Susana Esmeralda. Stephanie Guadalupe. Los demás sí los tengo en el, lo que es la asistencia. Okay, let's see. Is the room number one ready? Mm -hmm. It's Helen, Kenya, and Rafael. And you didn't finish? Nothing to present. La parte uno, la parte uno terminamos, teacher. And that's okay. You can share that with us. Eh, Rafa lo tiene. <laughs> And where is Rafael? Okay. Suggestion for parents. It would be better if you schedule activities at home. And number two, it would be better if they work in the activities fewer than with the use of the telephone. And number three, it would be better if you let them express what they feel and then talk really about your ideas. And number four, it would be better to set days for fat food or junk food. And number five, it would be good if you taught them to organize their time. Organize, okay. Very good job. It's a good idea to establish one or a couple of days during the week for junk food. I think that's okay. Thank you so much. Those were great ideas. Thank you for presenting your work. Now in round number two, we have Carmen Rene, Imelda, Margarita, Maria, and Naomi. Okay, teacher, I I I share my screen. Mm -hmm. And the the case of them are always texting their friends. The, the part of the kids, it would be better to, uh, to assign, assign. Uh, assign tasks to each one. The next is, it would be good if set a schedule to use the funds. Maria? It would be better to simulate them with a game. It will be good if it more vegetables sometimes. Okay. It would be better to, to teach them how to play. Mm -hmm. In the case of parents, Maria? It would be better to correct them in private. And the next, it could be good if given them some space. It could be better to respect them the music preference. It would be good is stimulant. The ones the with a price. With a price. With a price. With a price. Okay, very well done. Thank you so much for sharing. Those are awesome ideas. 
Uh, let's go with room number three with Belen, Iris, Juan Ricardo, and Mercedes. Ya, Belén. Yes, yes. Ya. Yeah. Puedes, sí, bueno. puedes empezar tú si gustas. Yes. Colaborate house after just number one and colaborating every your parents you join in. What is you? Type playing. Finish. Number one. The second never listen to you is will be better if you try to build trust. And my parents create a size, my testing music. It will be good if you talk to your parents about your music and why you like it. The second one, um, there are my kids are always texting their friends. For me, the suggestion would be, will it better if the kids have time to use their phones? Mm -hmm. Number one of my kids, a too much young food. My opinion, it would be good is to a more homemade. Homemade food. Mm -hmm. Number four, uh, my parents, uh, not me to clean on my room. My opinion, it would be good if you elaborate a schedule with all the, the responsibilities. Only teacher. Okay, awesome. Very good job. Do we have ready the room number four? Carlos Mario, Delmi, Francisco, and Maricela. Uh, we don't finish only um, part one. That's okay. You can uh, go ahead with part number one. Okay. Don't help around the, the house. It will be good if for them to take responsibilities. Second, uh, it will be very if they are not they are not not texting their friends. Uh, never listen to use. Will be better if they always can listen to use. To us. To us. Eat too much junk food. It will be better if they. Don't eat. Oh, sorry. If they we, eat, uh -huh. eat some vegetables. Vegetables. Okay. With everything until the last minute. Minute. Will, mm, um, minute. Minute. It could be good if to use a schedules every day. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's listen to the last group, Jose Arnoldo, Jose Rudy, Juan Ricardo, and Moises Rivera. Okay, teacher, um, the part of uh, the kids. Uh, do not help um, the house. It will be better if you start studying. Are always texting their friends, it will be nice if you help 
we the housework. Um, three, never listen to use. It will be no. nice. It will it will be nice if you listen to the advice. 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 Okay. Next to uh, Moises. Okay. The my part is uh, and eat too much junk food. Uh, I think is uh, it would be good if don't has junk food uh, in the house. The next text is leave everything until the last minute. minute. Uh, answer is the uh, su suggestion is it would be good if uh, uh, no, not finish. I don't finish. No, you didn't finish. Okay. The, the rest of the group. Next as well. Okay. I just wrote uh, my answers on the chat. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't took note. I didn't take note. About it, can you share the screen, Good. please? Okay, Juan, I have yours here. It is. It would be better if your partner needs to tell them something. They would do it at home. That's a nice mm. suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> it would be better if the parents knock the door before get into to the get into room. Their Excellent. So thank you for your suggestions, Juan Ricardo. Thank you, teacher. Anybody uh, else? Mm -hmm. yep. uh, my parents criticize my taste in music. It would be better if listening to music with headphones or low volume. Volume, okay. My parents nag me to clean my room. It would be better if it is cleaned before receive a nag. Um, my parents won't let me make my own decisions. It would be better if they advise the problems before I make decisions. Okay. That's all. And that's it. All right. So we finished today. It's nice of you participate a lot. And uh, it was very nice to share with you. So I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and see you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Have a good teacher. weekend. I see you to see you. See you on Monday. Nice Monday. Yes. Yep. Do you have a question, Naomi? Veo su manita levantada. Yes, teacher. I, I, have, a, I have a question mm -hmm. about the use of it could be good if um, when uh, si tenemos que usar el verbo en, en pasado o porque no. ejemplos que he visto. Sí, vi el de decía eight, por eso le dije que era it. El verbo tiene que ir en presente. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. You're welcome. See you on Monday.